Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Stand on Truth 44. The mind of the mystic does not think in terms of this world, of people, relationships, things, places, separateness, distance, time, space, season, method, process, two-ness, duality. All is spirit. And all is seen and acted with as spirit only. All interest is spirit. All purpose is spirit. All activity is spirit. All is savoured as spirit, loved as spirit. Let's lift right into the mystical consciousness now. Right into spirit only. where there is just peace, just serenity. Just completeness of utterly everything of perfect being. mind of the mystic, the awareness, the consciousness of the mystic has lifted beyond the belief and therefore concern and effort in material, physical, earthly appearance. These appearances are known as only appearance illusory appearance of what truly is. What is, is known as the only reality. Remember, not an alternative or better or purer reality, but the only reality. If the only reality, no belief, concern or effort therefore is applied to any appearance because appearance is known as a non-reality, literally a non-reality, no power, no substance of its own. No form of its own, no character or nature, no activity of its own. as the mystical consciousness never is any degree 
of appearance believed. Never is any degree of appearance either abhorred or desired. Never is there any thought of healing, improving, restoring, enriching, enhancing, developing, progressing, evolving. All is, and all is this minute now. Never is there any thought of love as the human sense knows love, of life as the human sense knows life, of activity, of home, of wealth, of community, of friend, of neighbor, of government, of country, of world, of universe, as the human sense knows these. And yet, because the infinite variety of beings and forms and activities and amounts and characters of appearance are known as their truth now, as their spiritual truth now, experience of form is now joyous and free, purposeful. In fact, the greatest purpose in heaven, in the kingdom, which is being the revealing presence, the revealing consciousness of truth, doing truth's work and finishing that work, the work of ceaselessly loving and giving and sharing. Consciousness of the mystic, the mystical consciousness, is only happy when loving, giving, sharing. Never does it want to gain something, because it knows it already is and has all, all including all the images of form it can ever need, all being one, all embodied in and as one infinity of consciousness, which the mystical mind experiences, the mystical mind is, and continually has access to, as its oneness, as its omnipresence of allness.
Remember, there is no unformed God consciousness, no unmanifest, intangible, invisible God consciousness, good. Oh yes, to material and even to metaphysical consciousness, much is unmanifest, invisible, intangible. Virtually the entirety of the kingdom to the material and even metaphysical consciousness is unmanifest, invisible, intangible. That's why they spend their whole time trying to manifest it. But that doesn't make it unmanifest or invisible or intangible. It's simply the degree of consciousness, of awareness of pure God, pure I. We are being individually that determines the degree of manifest, visible and tangible good. We individually see and experience. But that doesn't make any difference to truth. Truth is completely, infinitely, eternally visible, tangible, manifest, here now. There is no unmanifest God. If there were such a thing as unmanifest versus manifest God, then there would be tunus, duality. And therefore that wipes out the truth of omnipresence. And of course that's nonsense. There is no unmanifest kingdom. There is no intangible or invisible kingdom. But it is our individual degree of awareness of truth, of that truth, the truth, that determines the degree of manifest, visible and tangible good we experience. All of infinity is forever manifest, forever visible, tangible. And it's as we rise in awareness, as we become an ever more illumined consciousness, which means as we become more and more the mystical consciousness rather than the material or metaphysical consciousness, the mystical, spiritual consciousness that has no matter in it, no material form, activity, amount in it. Not even material or physical or earthly interest or concern other than that of savouring its beauty when it is beautiful. Just as we savour good chocolate or ice cream or a good movie, good food, the beautiful expression of a loving and generous person, a tender, sensitive, beautiful person, a beautiful sunrise or sunset, a trillion sparkles on the ocean, a trillion stars in the sky, pouring forth God's joy. Certainly, we can enjoy, we can savour these forms of truth, but as there is no interest or concern in the material appearance in terms of improving, pacifying, enriching, healing, in terms of effort of any degree in it, for it, then we have reached the blissful, mystical state of consciousness in which all is. And all is experienced effortlessly, omnipresent, always on time at the perfect moment and within a perfect synchronicity of witnessed events. There is the mystical consciousness. And if you need to revisit the truth of all being manifest, visible, tangible, listen again to Stand on Truth 42, solving the riddle of invisible versus visible. Mystical consciousness is and has infinity, allness, 
here, now, always at hand, as its very being, and as its every expression of being. Therefore, its only purpose, its only reason, its only expression, its only possibility is to love, to give, to share, to constantly reveal truth, which it does by the stimulus of love and limitlessness, by giving and sharing truth without limit, without bound, because it has infinity of good as its resource, as its very being and substance, at every point, at every moment, every opportunity, and every seeming need. Let's rest in the silence of this for a few moments. As we're resting, bathing in the silence of the mystical consciousness, gently empty your mind, your being, of every concept that wants to stay with you, every sense of need or desire, every thing, every person, every condition every place. Gently empty these things out by lifting to pure consciousness each time your mind wants to latch on to something. Just I. You can tell your mind, just I. Just I, just God, just Spirit, just silence, just peace. Drop all concern now. Drop all attachment now. They're unnecessary now. You're free of them now. In and as mystical consciousness.
just I, just spirit, just pure consciousness, just peace, just harmony, just effortless being, effortless experience. Yesterday's daily snippet quotes Jesus from the Gospel of Thomas, saying, You search for me through heaven and earth, but you don't know the one who is right before your eyes, because you don't know how to search this very moment. The me he is speaking of is I, the very I God is, and therefore you are, I am, as one, the oneness of I itself, being you, being everything about you, everything you are, the very infinity of spiritual being you are, the very kingdom itself, and the very boundless good you, as the kingdom, have as the infinity of I that you are. You search for your truth, and the infinity of self your truth is, through the material or metaphysical heavens, and throughout the material and metaphysical earth, but you don't find it, because you don't know the one, the oneness, the I, consciousness, that is right before your eyes the very consciousness that is your aliveness, your life. Your consciousness, the aliveness you are alive with, the consciousness you are conscious with, the consciousness that is everything you are. Despite much of what you are, or to the human sense, most of what you are, your body, your environment, your world, your universe, being what it calls material, physical. Despite that sense, consciousness is the only is. The only form, substance, activity, place, being, amount, condition, consciousness. You don't know that that is the kingdom of God, your kingdom, the kingdom, the only kingdom, the only truth, the only life, the only love, the only joy, the only substance, the only form, the only beingness, the only experience. Now listen to that. Consciousness is the only experience. Certainly. Consciousness is everything. There is nothing but consciousness. Therefore, the only experience is consciousness being experienced. doesn't matter what we happen to call it through a material or human or even metaphysical consciousness, which I'll say is not really much better than being human completely. Not much. It's a little bit better, of course, but not much better, because it's still dealing with a physical. It's trying to deal with the physical through the mind. It's trying to apply the mind. Apply God is a better statement. Apply God, apply spirit to 
the physical, metaphysical. So it's a step above pure physical, but only a step. And so the mystical, the spiritual consciousness realizes and is. That experience that is 100% pure consciousness happening. And so it looks like or looks as or appears as matter. Materiality, physicality, earth. So what? That doesn't matter. In fact, it's very beautiful. And there is greater awareness emerging about how and why this experience of form that the human calls material and physical but the mystical realizes isn't, is just consciousness, just God, spirit, is in fact meant to be and is in fact very beautiful, very purposeful, very good. But right now we can say, as that so-called material, physical appearance of experience is witnessed, As long as it's known as pure consciousness, pure spirit, then there will be great joy, great freedom, great satisfaction in and as that experience. But we must know this. This is what Jesus is telling us. And then he says, the reason we don't know this great truth, therefore, the reason we don't experience the unreserved boundless, effortless good of truth is because we don't know how to search this very moment. Well, let's change that this very moment. Let's lift consciousness out of everything but mysticism this very moment. Let's search this very moment for its truth. Let us have B, the mystical consciousness, at least for a good degree of each of our 24 hours. And then watch the miracles that occur in daily life. Watch how your entire being becomes more sensitive, deeply so, to the beauty and truth of existence and every expression of existence. Watch how the deepest truth of you emerges and recognizes and bathes in the elation of the deepest truth of all. Watch how the simplest of experiences, to the human sense, becomes an experience of euphoria, as your experience is now the mystical, not the material or metaphysical. Watch how Every breath becomes intoxicated with the scent of heaven, the scent of the kingdom, the experience of the kingdom of truth. Watch how every step is savoured, every encounter is sacred. Of course, how can the mystical consciousness be anything less than intoxicated with and by and as heaven, truth, spirit, savoring everything, every step, realizing that everything, every encounter, every experience is indeed sacred. Watch how life emerges from struggle and separation, lack and limit, fear, pain to as that of ease, love, oneness, plenty, freedom, a boundless expression of life and reason and joy and satisfaction with all forms and activities and amounts, conditions naturally and effortlessly appearing 
as each step, all as one whole, one divine completeness and fulfillment of purpose. Now, what is, as Jesus is explaining, the one right before your eyes? What is this very moment the Master's speaking of? It is pure consciousness, the mystical consciousness, the consciousness that is the very aliveness of you and of everything, the very beingness of you and everything, the very essence and life, awareness of you and everything, the very I, you are and everything is. It's the consciousness itself that knows that holding a piece of matter in mind, holding objectivity of any sort in mind, allowing awareness to rest on anything of the objectified, material, physical, earthly sense, is away and apart from this very moment. It's a different moment, an untruthful moment. It's out there somewhere. But this very moment, which is, in truth, in fact, literally, the only moment in all of existence, is right here. It's I. It's God, it's consciousness. This very moment is the closest, most intimate of your moments, therefore of your eternality. It's the deepest purest, most intimate, most sacred, most profound, most euphoric, certainly, most secret moment. This very moment that Jesus is referring to, the great secret of the kingdom, is your pure truth. It is the pure truth of everything, all. It is pure consciousness, pure God, pure spirit, pure truth, pure I. It is the pure unknown. It's the mystical consciousness that's able to say, if I can name it, it is not it. So let me drop all names, all concepts, all ideas, all known sense in favour of truth, in favour of the unknown, the adventure of pure I, the bliss of pure I, pure being, conceptless being, unconditioned, 
unconditional being. Now, all that's left is I am. And I am that. Not more than pure I. Not different than pure I. Not objectified. Just pure I. Only pure I. I am this very moment. What this very moment is, is I. And I am. And I am that. That with a capital T. Always now with a capital first letter. All mystical consciousness is a capital first letter because mystical consciousness is conceptless unconditioned pure I nothing but God spirit truth exists I am I am that. The that, of course, being also pure I. Nothing but pure I. No extension from pure I, because there is nothing to extend to or into. There is just pure I, just pure consciousness, pure God, Spirit, Truth. Therefore, yes, I am, and I am that. I am pure consciousness. My infinity is pure consciousness, pure I. My every experience unto eternity is pure I, and nothing else, nothing different. That is this very moment Jesus is referring to. Nothing but pure consciousness exists. And in and as pure consciousness, everything is. Pure consciousness embodies all, infinitely and eternally. Pure consciousness constitutes all, infinitely, eternally. Pure consciousness constitutes all of good, omnipresent, fully tangible at every point in space, every point of awareness at the same time.
my friends, can you lift consciousness now to the point of knowing, even just beginning to know and feel, that all forms of good are right here with you this minute. Because all is I, all is consciousness. No matter how you try, how persistently you try to separate yourself from consciousness, you cannot. It is what you are. And therefore, all forms of it, all forms of I, infinite expressions, infinite variety and character and nature and amount of all good, fully formed, is with you this minute because none of experience is anything but consciousness formed. Because there is no unformed consciousness. Infinite forms of all good, literally and tangibly immeasurable good, amount, expression, inexhaustible idea, awareness, wisdom, knowledge, are yours now, this minute, always. You are that very inexhaustible consciousness. Think. You are it. Your consciousness is the inexhaustible one consciousness. Therefore, the inexhaustible good forms and amounts and expressions, freedom of consciousness. Never be concerned about the forms of life, the amounts of life, the deep satisfaction and purpose and achievement of life that to human sense you're striving for. These forms, these expressions, these experiences are automatically and effortlessly experienced when we drop all concern for them in the mystical state of consciousness that knows God only, consciousness only, spirit only, and spends the substance of its time, the main substance of each hour, resting as the guest of consciousness, the guest of God, of pure spiritual beingness, the mystical beingness. All experience, all experience, is that of the guest of God, pure I. And therefore rest. Know this truth and rest. Bathe and let the experience be witnessed by and as the mystical consciousness that you are. Again, we remember the Master trying to tell us this over and over again, trying to reveal the truth of being to us. Take no thought for your life, for all the things, the forms and amounts and conditions of your life. For the Father, pure consciousness, knows, is, everything in immeasurable and always immediate, omnipresent form. Experience, tangible experience, because there is no unformed God, no unmanifest, intangible, invisible, unavailable God, good, fulfilling experience. There is no such thing. Take no thought, empty yourself of the concepts of form and tangibility, and visibility and availability, and instead... Seek the kingdom of God. Be the mystical consciousness. 
continually lift into and as the mystical consciousness. Then, all forms of experience, without limit, without delay, without effort, are yours. For it is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Yes, the only impulse and satisfaction of consciousness is to give all of itself as all of itself, as you, as me, and as all of the experience of you and me. This is why as we rise to the mystical state of consciousness, our satisfaction, our entire impulse is to give and share and serve, not to get. There's little satisfaction, little pleasure in getting. Deepest satisfaction and pleasure is in giving and serving because I and consciousness are one. And the entire purpose, the entire beingness and impulse that is God, consciousness, is being the fullness of the glory and completeness of itself. Or in human language, if we have to, it is in giving, in serving, in sharing, in bringing pleasure and happiness and fulfillment to others, to every aspect of our kingdom. Not in getting. We, we have nothing to get unless we're in a confused state of consciousness, which is the material, physical, even metaphysical state of consciousness. We have nothing to get. We are I itself, being you, being me. And as we lift into the mystical state of I, pure I, and as we let it flow, we let it out, let it be what we are, the very beingness that we are being, then we find our only impulse, our only activity, our only experience is that of giving, of wishing to give, 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 serve. How can I give more? How can I bring pleasure, bring freedom, bring joy, bring happiness to my kingdom, everything of my kingdom? That is my activity, that's my impulse, that is my experience. And then, again we hear the Master saying, Give, and you shall receive. Press down, overflowing, shaken together shall you receive. Yes, you will be the guest, and a very honoured guest. A guest treated with a great deal of love, of life, of abundance, of service. Certainly, as you give, you release the givingness of experience. You release the experience of the entire infinity of you giving to you. All as one. As you give, your experience gives. And certainly you will find, pressed down, running over, shaken together, shall you receive. Prove me now herewith, if I will not open you the windows of experience, we could add, and pour you out a blessing so great that there shall not be room to receive it. But you are that. I am that. Do you see? The mystical consciousness is that. And immediately, you and I are being the mystical consciousness. Our experience becomes that of the deepest love, the deepest life, the deepest freedom. deepest expression of experience, which 
is all the never-ending givingness of self, givingness of experience, givingness of our infinite substance. That is releasing God. We had a stand on truth some time ago. Release God. And here it is again. As we are the releasing of unending givingness, servingness, then we have released that which is our entire experience, that which is God, that which is consciousness, that which is truth. Let us from now always be attentive to the purity that is this very moment. Let's not fall into the category of experience that has to be told, you don't know this very moment. You don't know how to experience, how to search for this very moment, how to be this very moment. Let's not be of that consciousness that needs to hear from Jesus, you search for me through heaven and earth, but you don't know the one who is right before your eyes because you don't know how to search this very moment. Let's at least be able to, by a measure, stand with Jesus as a friend, as a being that does understand at least a grain, the truth of being, the mystical consciousness. And then let us be attentive to our every moment and be it pure consciousness and then completely inverse any past experience or activity that has been happy with gaining something has been striving to gain to somehow enrich the experience of life to heal it to bring happiness or love to it and instead give incessantly give to everything everywhere give to every breath you take what are you going to give to every breath you take what am I going to I'm going to give love I'm going to savor every breath I take realizing its truth I'm going to savor Every step, every sight, every scent, realizing its truth. Now I'm giving to it instead of taking it. Do you see? When I see a flower, instead of just being happy with that sight, let's give to that flower. Let's recognize it as truth, as heaven, as God itself being the form in this degree of consciousness of that flower, of the color, the scent, the joy that is that flower. Now we're giving to it. Our impulse is to make it happy, give it freedom, give it recognition, not take happiness from it. Do you see? Not breathe in its heavenly scent and then walk away thinking that we've gained a beautiful experience through breathing in that scent. No, no. 
let's breathe in the scent as a givingness to it, an appreciation, a love, a savouring of the beauty that it is, so that it can be more of it through and by our recognition that it is God. Nothing but God, nothing but pure bliss and beauty and bounty. Pure consciousness. When we're interacting with people, even when we're just glimpsing people, experiencing people on the street, in the supermarket, at work, as our family, wherever we are experiencing people, let us be continually the giving consciousness to everyone by recognizing who they are, recognizing their divinity, not judging them as the form seems to be. That's nothing. Nothing. Their truth is divinity. Every being is an angel, is heaven, is divine. Let us do what we can in every way to serve that being, to give to that being. Even if when we're walking in the street or shopping in the supermarket, doing our work amongst our colleagues, that givingness is just a recognition of their truth. And believe me, there is no just about that recognition. That is the greatest giving that we can do, recognizing each other's truth. You are divine. You are an angel. You are the infinity of being, divine being itself. You are grace itself. Never will I judge you. Never will I try to get something from you. All I want to do for you is to give my awareness and my expression to you. As this mystical state of consciousness, either, even a truthful degree of mystical consciousness, which means that all the time we're being as attentive as we can to lifting consciousness from what seems to be into and as what is. That's the grain. That's as much as we can do. We can only ever do as much as we can do. And we know we are doing as much as we can do when we are continually attentive to lifting from what appears to be to what is. Whether we're able at this moment to remember five times a day, ten times twenty, a hundred, a thousand, or all the time, doesn't make any difference, as long as we are doing our best individually, that is the necessary grain that will now witness miracles in daily life. Watch the miracles that happen as you do your best and I do to continually lift into and as the mystical consciousness and then let the expression of mystical consciousness flow, which is just giving, just serving, just sharing.
Well, all I can do, and I'm sure you also, is sit in honour of the message that's been given us today as silence for many more hours in what is my tonight. And uh, perhaps you can do the same as much as you're able to in what is your night or day. So I will see you there as the silence, in the silence together as one. Letting consciousness be what we are. Letting the mystical consciousness, the truth, be what you are, what I am, what all is. Thank you, thank you again for being the consciousness that receives this, that is this message. I can't remind you often enough that without your consciousness being this message, this message would not be. And so, thank you, thank you so much. I look forward to being with you again next Friday. Bye for now. I hope you enjoy this spiritual audio. Like, share and subscribe for more.